Bridget Salomon has had many reasons to worry during this final year of high school, among them just how much or how little she learned. Knowing where I should be versus where I am now is definitely very stressful. Turns out educators across Canada have similar concerns about a learning gap. Almost three quarters of respondents to the CBC News questionnaire said they were behind schedule on covering the curriculum. About 55% said fewer of their students were meeting the learning objectives and over 70% of teacher respondents think some students will never catch up. The main cause of this disruption? Pandemic shifts between in-person and remote education. But intense learning in small groups to avoid infection didn't help either, says this teacher. They get to see me for 22 days and they have to pick up everything that they would normally have five months to learn. That's actually really rough. I, like, I really feel for these kids. Also getting in the way of student achievement, anxiety many have been feeling about the pandemic and stresses at home, says this teacher. Personally, I've had to actually really pull, uh, talk to students one-on-one, um, -on -one, see what the, what's going on in their life, and try to adjust my grading and my, uh, what I've been teaching according to what's going on in their life. She hopes that same approach will be taken by post-secondary institutions for first-year students in September. And so does grade 12 student Jordan Mutabazi, who knows his education has suffered this year. I'm not too worried as everyone else going into university is facing the same thing that I am. So I'm not going to be alone in that fact. Alone or not, students and educators will likely be playing catch-up for months or even years to come. So, hey, Deanna, I I'm curious, what surprised you about these results in the questionnaire? Andrew, first off, the sheer number of responses we got. More than 9,000 educators felt compelled to share their thoughts. And then secondly, how many teachers were worried about their students' mental health. 90% of those who responded, and that worry was shared among educators coast to coast. Mm. And looking ahead to the fall, do these educators have solutions in mind? Andrew, they sure do. Uh, most of them have said they'd like to see the provincial governments get involved to attend to those mental health crises and educational shortfalls. And then there were some uh, more radical solutions proposed. Quite a few teachers actually wrote to us to say that they would like to see the students be allowed to repeat the whole year. Andrew. Wow. Okay, Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, thank you.